So President Obama is headed to Alaska and he has pissed off conservatives for doing yet another horrible, terrible thing that we all know President Obama has become, it's, it's become vintage of him to do. Classic Obama. What is Obama doing? He is taking the name Mount McKinley and he's changing it to what it once was previously called, and that is Denali. <gasps> oh my God. Wow. Basically, Obama announced that he's going to rename Mount McKinley Denali, using his, his executive power to restore an Alaska native name with deep cultural significance to the tallest mountain in North America. This was a name that was used for hundreds of years by the natives of Alaska. And Obama's spending his trip in Alaska, upon also uh, other things he's doing there. He's spending three days promoting aggressive action to combat climate change. And he is addressing, he's going to take a series of steps to address the concerns of Alaska Native tribes. Which means this small token of renaming the mountain, what it was called previously, is a good first step. Now, conservatives are pissed about it. We got Rob Portman tweeting how, I'm disappointed with the administration's decision to change the name of Mount McKinley in Alaska. President McKinley was a proud Ohioan and the mountain was named after him as a way to remember his rich legacy after his assassination. Now, for those of you who don't know, McKinley was a president. He was assassinated six months into his office and he was never, he never visited Alaska. So what I have to say is, if the right-wingers in, in Ohio are so pissed about this, why don't they name Something in Ohio after him. I'm sure they have, but why not just name another thing after him? Because I know the deeply historical significance, and this is completely true, by the way, of why the Denali was renamed Mount McKinley back in the late 1800s, which was a gold prospector was exploring the Alaska range, heard that Mr. McKinley had won the Republican presidential nomination and declared that the mountain should now be named Mount McKinley in honor as a show of support. That's for real, by the way. I mean, that is the historical significance of Mount McKinley being named Mount McKinley. Th that's just unbelievable. And then in 1917... Uh, the government formally recognized the name... And then since 1975, there have been a movement in Alaska to rename it. In 1980, they named the national park surrounding it Denali National Park and Preserve, but the mountain continued to be called Mount McKinley. And then recently, Senator Lisa Murkowski, who you might know as a Republican of Alaska, introduced a legislation to rename the peak Denali. So you have Republicans in Alaska even saying this mountain should be called Denali. And Ohio lawmakers blocked the move. I mean, this is the small government states' rights party, isn't it? I mean, this is supposed to be, you know, we don't want the federal government telling the states what to do. And here you have Republicans in Ohio telling even Republicans of Alaska what they should be doing in their state. Well, God damn it, Obama. How dare you listen to not only the natives of Alaska wanting their mountain called what it had been called for generations, but you're also falling for the, what the Republicans in Alaska want. Ugh, how dare you, Obama? Disgusting.